So if you're a fan of The Last of Us games and series, then you may be interested to know that there's been some talk very recently from the head guy at Naughty Dog, which is the developer of The Last of Us, talking about The Last of Us Part 3. Now, like I said, this is all from Neil Druckmann, who is the president of Naughty Dog, and he did an interview, I think it was in like sort of a documentary about the making of The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, and this all information is coming from that, so it's from a credible source, it's just, it's not concrete. So essentially they've stated that they may have a concept for what they would like The Last of Us Part 3 to actually be about. So obviously when you're developing a game, you need the ideas first, then you can create the story, then you can create the characters, and then you know you actually start building the game. They have this concept, they know what they'd like it to be about, not quite the ins and out details yet, but yeah. Now obviously they could have pretty much the entire idea of what it, they want it to be sorted already, and it, this could just be some kind of little teasy smokescreen, but at the end of the day, the simple fact that they know that they have a concept is good enough for me, and that's good enough to get me excited. The question then becomes, what would that concept be? Because the first game, if you look at it, was pretty much about family, I guess, or family that's not quite family, but becomes family through experiences and things like that. And then the second one was pretty much a revenge story or the journey of justice, I guess, and the, the, the kind of route it takes you on and whether you stay good or bad or, you know, revenge stays. God, I'm getting sad just thinking about it. But yeah, the question is, where does that third one take us? Do we see Ellie return? Is she going to be the main character that we play as? Or is it going to be somebody completely different that we've maybe been introduced to in part two? It literally could be anywhere. If you look at how it's gone so far, first one you played as Joel, main character. Second one, Ellie, main character. Ellie was with you for the first game, but then you became her in the second game. So who was with us in the second game that maybe we could become in the third game? And then also, what would the story be about? That's the interesting point, or at least something fun to think about. So let me know your ideas down in the comments below, because there could be some uh, good ideas that maybe Naughty Dog haven't thought of yet that someone suggests down below. The other interesting idea is that they don't use any of the previous characters, or they do in such a way that, you know, it's, it's far in the future or something like that and everybody's moved on a little bit everyone's kind of spread out across america or wherever obviously this entire game has been down the sort of uh, west coast i believe what if they went down to sort of new york or the day before <laughs> what if they did what if they went down to a different place and you're experiencing a whole different new area uh with maybe some characters that we're used to but not all of them i mean the the possibilities are endless but uh, there's a lot of cool things that they could do i mean everything they could do would be good i mean the the way I'm going to enjoy this game. Now, in saying that, they've also said that they are pretty happy with the way that The Last of Us Part 2 ended, so they're not going to force themselves to bring out a third game, because obviously it's nice to get that extra bit of something to play or the extra bit to the franchise, but at the end of the day, if you're happy with where something's ended, sometimes it might be better to just leave it there. Now, I can imagine they're pretty good at coming up with ideas and stories that will allow for anybody to be like, oh, okay, yeah, this is sick. I'm glad that they, they did this. But there's always going to be that little point in their minds that's like, okay, is this really worth doing? Or do we just leave this here, end this story off, and then move on to something else and put our time into that? Whether they do that or not, I don't know. I think there's going to be such a huge demand for The Last of Us Part 3. It's a very popular game. But I, I personally think they will do it, or I hope they will do it at the very least. Like, really. Really, I really hope they do. But I do think that the sentiment is if they do bring out The Last of Us Part 3, that will be the end of it. So imagine what they could possibly do to have that massive send off. Don't forget, this game is brutal, or at least this franchise is brutal. Like it kills off characters that you spend a lot of time with and end up really liking, and then boom, bye bye. So, how would a whole finale go? Does everybody die? They just kill everyone off? I don't know, maybe. That'd be a pretty strange ending. Maybe everyone but one. Who knows? But you really go down a rabbit hole with this. So, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. There was also mention of a Tommy spin off. So, Tommy is Joel's brother in the game, if you don't know. There was a while back talk of him getting his own DLC or spin-off game or something like that. I think realistically it would have been DLC. But they'd basically written a whole storyline based on what happens to Tommy after the events of The Last of Us Part 2, but then they ended up shelving it. I think they shelved it because of, at the time, everything was too a bit hectic for them. Can I even speak English? But everything was a bit too hectic for them. And uh, something along the lines that they needed a better work-life balance 
uh, work personal life balance, I guess, in the office. And they basically shelved it to not cause too much stress on the team. I'm going to assume that they had this idea relatively soon after the development of The Last of Us Part 2. And obviously, after such a huge development cycle of a game, you're going to want to give your employees a bit of a break, I'm sure. I don't really know how these things work too well, but I can imagine that, yeah, maybe there was a bit too much to uh, focus on straight away after the release of this. But the thing is, the idea is there. They've said that they'd like to do it. So whether that ends up being the storyline for The Last of Us Part 3, or that ends up being a bridge between The Last of Us Part 2 and The Last of Us Part 3, because there could be a huge gap between these games. Don't forget, Naughty Dog don't rush with their games. They bring them out when they're ready, which means that it can take huge year cycles before you know you get the next installment so you could imagine that maybe maybe they release dlc or some kind of spin-off middle mini game um just like they did with uncharted if you look at uncharted they brought out uncharted 4 and then they brought out uncharted last lost legacy which uh, i think you played as chloe was her name but that wasn't like a full uncharted game it was like a mini game a bit cheaper good they treated it well but yeah it was like a mini game maybe this tommy dlc or spin-off would either be like i said dlc for the last of us part two or it would be its own mini game who knows but i think either way it'd be interesting to see if they do do it as the last of us part three then it will be its own huge thing maybe or maybe the the tommy ideas will be in that game but it won't be the entire game who knows but again let me know what you think down in the comments but that is the thing that is they have the ideas there we just don't know if they're going to actually do it now don't forget not too long ago they cancelled the last of us online and everyone was kind of like mm, why would they do this why would they do this there was a lot of excitement about the game or at least i think there was i personally didn't know too much about it but i know it was coming and it you know it's obviously quite disappointing that they decided not to bring it out but they were also said at the time of that doing a live service game requires so much time and so much manpower that they basically had to make the choice of do they want to stick with their single player experiences or do they want to fully move over to to live service experiences because realistically that's what they would have to do because if you want to run a live service you constantly have to be providing new content and updating it so that the people playing it keep having a reason to come back i mean look at call of duty look at fifa they've got all their new uh, every month there's a new there's a whole new set of cards or every two weeks or whatever it is in the call of duty you've got all the new skins all of that they'd have to put so much time into that that i think what they decided to do and i'm hoping what they decided to do was scrap that sadly so that they continue to work on their single player experiences which is where their main key uh, audience came from you know people know them from uncharted people know them from the last of us people know them from the games way before that but their core has always been single player games that people could sit down and play and play like a movie and enjoy in their own little way and i think potentially this is just a, a thought but potentially they dropped the last of us online so that they could make another great the last of us game that or maybe even just move on to something completely different but i feel like if they were going to be done with the last of us series they probably would release that online game and then have like a dedicated team that just worked on that for however long they wanted to keep that cycle of that going for i just feel like if you're going to cancel the last of us online after you know talking about it for a while kind of makes sense that they do that because they want to work on something a bit more important within the last of us world like perhaps the last of us part three but that's just my speculation but it is interesting to think about but yeah let me know what you think down in the comments below is that outlandish or is that a reasonable thing or to even have an idea about let me know and then the last thing i wanted to talk about was not too long ago i made a video where i it was sort of about the day before it was about just zombie games in general uh but i also discussed a news little bit of news that had come out uh, not too long beforehand which was that apparently ben studio who created days gone which is another fantastic playstation exclusive i loved it a lot of people didn't like it i don't really know why but i absolutely loved that game and i know there was a huge audience for that but yeah ben studio the developers who made that and naughty dog developers or at least some within the two companies were working together on something or are or have been and will continue to later down the line i don't know but that was a rumor at the very least with some credibility there were some sources stating it as if it was a genuine thing now imagine why would the two of these two companies work together yes they're both both doing zombie-esque games i know they're freakers in days gone they're not quite called zombies but the ideas of the games and the feels of the games are relatively similar you both got third person uh shooter feel 
zombie survival games, only Days Gone is way more open world and Naughty Dog is way more focused on that storytelling aspect. Now, this is just an, a, a thought by me, but imagine, right? Imagine for The Last of Us Part 3, because Sony, for whatever reason, decided to scrap Days Gone 2, still don't know why, still don't know why. What if, on the odd chance, it was because Sony wanted the Days Gone team to help out with the Last of Us team on finishing off the Last of Us story because of the popularity that it had over the years that it's had that popularity. Yes, Days Gone was a great game, but what if they chose to sort of do The Last of Us first? And what if Sony had gone, well, Naughty Dog, you're gonna now work with Ben Studio and create this huge last addition to the title. Imagine a game where you've got The Last of Us' storytelling, The Last of Us' graphics, gunplay, gameplay, everything, because it is near perfection with the open world and still storytelling, I guess, but the exciting sort of replayability of just being able to roam about by yourself doing your own thing in a world that creates or just elongates, I guess, the story and amount of time you'd spend playing that game, which is what Days Gone had. The one thing that The Last of Us doesn't have is, well, until you've got the no return mode, which is actually quite fun, I do really like it. But other than that no return mode, The Last of Us, you have to play the mission to experience the game. Whereas Days Gone, you could jump into that and just try and survive by yourself if you want to. You don't have to do the missions. It's an open world free roam game. Imagine the two developers working together to create like the perfect middle ground of a zombie game for The Last of Us Part 3. That's just a random idea based on a rumor that the two developers were working together on something, but I just think that would be really cool. I think that would be an amazing end to The Last of Us games. Not to make the whole thing open world necessarily, but maybe just to get ideas from each sort of studio each developer of each different game and figure out what the best way to make the final game would be. Just an idea, but I think that would be absolutely sick. So let me know your thoughts on that too. So that's it for this video. Basically just talking about The Last of Us 3, the potential of it, what I'd potentially like to see, and I'm also what I hope you will let me know what you'd like to see in the comments down below. But if you did enjoy this, you want to see more videos like this from me, let me know in the comments down below and do hit that like button because it helps out massively with the algorithm. I'm not just saying it, it really does. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.